that you can look at the principles behind what's going on, you're gonna have a far better understanding of what it takes to create that adaptation in people. So for example, when it comes to diet, we know there are two, you know, there's several key factors. You have to have energy balance, so you, your energy expenditure has to match what you're taking in, or if you need to take off some stored energy, which is all body fat is, you have to be using more energy than you're bringing in. You have to meet your macronutrient requirements. Our body requires a certain amount of protein to repair itself. We need a certain amount of uh, micronutrients, especially essential nutrients. Essential nutrients are ones we get from the diet. So no matter how much, say, um, like how much vitamin D I take in, I can't take that vitamin D and create, you know, magnesium out of it or vice versa. So I need to make sure that I'm getting enough micronutrients, vitamins and minerals, and I need to make sure I'm hitting all my essential um, larger substances like amino acids, there's nine essential ones. If that's being said and my energy is imbalanced, I'm probably going to get a good outcome, okay? Now with training, it goes the same way. There's a bunch of systems out there for burning body fat, for putting on strength and muscle. But if you keep trying to take somebody and force them into a system, eventually there's going to be a fallout because not everybody's going to respond the same way because of their individual bodies. If, like for example, I think that for transforming the body, one of the most key lifts is a back squat. It just loads the body in a way that can't be replicated by other um, lifts. It's creating a hormone response that we want to metabolize more body fat, to put on more muscle. It's, you know, people have called it the king of all lifts. That's great. Now, if somebody has a body that doesn't permit them to back squat, that is the worst exercise that's gonna be for that individual. Why? Because, that person's body is gonna respond negatively, negatively to the same stimulus. So I have to be able to take the individual, I have to be able to take the program, and I have to get those two things to sync up to create the best outcome. That may mean that that person might not be doing a back squat even though it creates the best hormonal response objectively. The best squat for that person that's gonna be in line for their goals might be just starting with the basic goblet squat, which is holding the weight out in front. or. Um, you know, the front squat or like a Zercher squat like I'm doing today. Now that leads me to my next point about basing everything on principles. I'm gonna show you something. Uh-oh, confession time by coach. Boom, weight belt. I generally don't lift with a weight belt. I seldom use it. But today I went through all my preparation. I did all my, um, you know, everything to get my body as integrated and synced up as I could before I started my squats and things just didn't feel right. So if I was operating off of ideology like I used to do in the past where I believed that you know, um, you're gonna get the strongest result from going with no weight belt in deadlifts and squats. If I push that today, I'm probably gonna tweak my lower back again. I did this many times deadlifting when I was getting really heavy numbers. So now if I know my rep range from my body, I know how my body feels on a given day and I know how much, you know, load it can handle. And when I start to feel that I'm getting near that threshold, guess what? I'm not gonna operate off of a belief that it's gonna be the best to not use a weight belt. I'm gonna throw a weight belt on, maybe just for that one set. Okay, so we really have to understand the principles first and foremost to be able to apply those principles to each every individual body and from there we're going to create the best outcome and the best outcome means you're going to metabolize the most body fat possible, build the most strength and muscle possible, you're going to get leaner, you're going to get stronger, you're going to get more flexible by applying those principles to the individual, not forcing somebody into a program, not forcing somebody into positions their body can't handle, but applying the major lifts, the major movements to that individual body and testing and retesting and figuring out the exact variation that that person needs. That will be the best for that individual. Hope that makes sense. Post your comments down below. If anybody needs an assessment on anything, DM me or post down below. Uh, we offer free no obligation consults and uh, intro classes uh, just to make sure we're the right fit to work together. So uh, for more information, and we do distance and in-person coaching right now. So for more information, just let me know. Make a great day, everybody. Peace.